shoo, shoo, shoo. Uh, alrighty, hello everybody, it is Spongebob1255 here, coming at you with something a little bit different. As you can see, I got my nice little farm set up here looking absolutely beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, what I'm here with today, as you can probably see in the title, is something called a few mods. And these mods are actually kind of awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I'll have links to them down in the description here to the forum. You'll have to sign up to make an account as far as I know to download them, but they are definitely worth it. Now, the first one that I want to show you... Uh, here it is. It's an absolutely amazing mod. I'll bring up the name for the creator in a minute here and give him a shout out. I absolutely adore this mod. I'm going to use this a lot in my Let's Play series here, but let's go into the cave. Now, as you can clearly already tell, we still have our mushroom boxes here. Now, these are the same ones we got from, what is his name, Damien? Anyways, these are still here. Thank God. So, obviously, this mod does not affect that in any way. So, you still get your mushrooms, and you get this whole entire area here. You can plant kegs, you can plant your cheese things, your pickle machines, absolutely everything. You can plant it all here, and it is just amazing. It's a lot more space. Uh, you could definitely decorate it as you please. I think, honestly, I might throw this crystal in here. Now, I don't know how these mods will react with any updates that will come out in the game, but definitely activate them at your own discretion. I don't want to take responsibility for anything that broke, so if you activate them, do it at your own discretion. That is a loud vehicle. But anyways, that is the one mod that I got. There's another two, but first let's go ahead and bring up this name. I'll give you a guy's name. Like I said, you can look at his name down in the description down under, but right now the one we're looking at is... Hmm. Keaton. Keaton's random stuff. And he's got this whole bigger cave thing going on. I don't, as far as I know, he doesn't really have too much um additions added onto it or any plans for it as far as i know he could go further with it he could edit some more maps who knows this guy could be amazing i really don't know i'm really excited maybe he'll do exactly that but at the moment that's not what we're worried about what we are worried about is our next mod actually two mods coming from this one and the name of the person who made this one uh this is actually naftoth nat foth i'm terribly sorry for that that's bleh. But anyways, Nadfoth, what they did, they made a mod that allows you, it's actually configurable, uh, both of them, both of these mods that you have, and what they are, I'll actually show you here, now that I moved my face out of the way, you can actually see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and mine a little bit here, and I'll show you exactly how this works. Now, if you look at my stamina bar here, I'm at 259, and it just went to 260. Let's keep watching it, 261. And now, this is an amazing mod. I probably won't use this in my Let's Play series, but I absolutely love it. If I was doing, just trying to get some mad amounts of cash, this would be perfect. So, what it is, it's the Stamina Regen mod. Like I said, it's from Nadfoth, and you can find the link down in the description. You'll need the uh, Smappy mod loader, basically. Uh, it's sort of like, imagine like Ford mod loader for Minecraft. It's the same deal. The Stardew modding API, the Smappy, that's what I call it. I just put it all together. They, people might call it SMAPI, but I like Smappy. Smappy sounds awesome. But anyways, I'm getting a little off topic here. Let's go ahead and show you the last mod. Like I said, this one is also from Natfoth. Now, what this one allows you to do, you know what, I'll let go ahead and show you. Ah, let's pull up this keyboard. Boom. And we're raining, that is right. This mod allows you to simply configure the weather. Easy as that. And you do have the little configuration screen down here in your API, your Smappy folder going on here. So you can go ahead and set weather. Uh, it's the... I'll have it written down in the description for what you can type here, but basically you got set weather rain, you got wet, set weather snow, you got weather underscore set weather sun, and we're back to normal. Now, of course, I don't think, let's see, does, did that water our crops? Nope, that didn't water our crops. Now, I'm thinking what will happen, I don't want to actually save. What I'm thinking will happen is if you leave the rain on, you can actually set it for the next day, so you 
can set it to rain tomorrow, you can set it to be sunny tomorrow, whatever you want with this mod. Basically do, you do you boo boo, is basically what this mod allows you to do. Now I'm hoping to find a few more mods like this, uh, if you can find any that are related to Stardew Valley, I highly recommend leaving them in the comments, I will gladly download any mods I can find, I am so excited for this game and what the community is going to bring to it. Uh, if it's going to be anything like Minecraft or any high, heavily modded games in the past, I am extremely psych excited. Of course, I absolutely love Harvest Moon, and this game is just... I'm not going to say a replica. It definitely deserves its own merits. It is absolutely amazing in its own regard. But uh, that is it for now. Like I said, if you're looking for... Uh, these mods specifically, you can look for them in the description. If you're having trouble installing them, which you shouldn't, they're pretty easy. I'll, I'll leave a little detailed description and you can find um, some instructions on the pages as well. But if you're having trouble, uh, just let me know. I will gladly set up a video for setting up Smappy as well as these mods. But thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you don't mind. And like always, have a good day guys.